now. I hope you can see the screen now where I can show you what this element includes. This is object now. So if I can have the element, what this element uh, includes. So now this time what I'll do, I will uh, uh, put the slip time as a, uh, I will just uh, comment this section of the uh, slip time because I will be running this in backend and show you like what this element include now. So uh, let me show that quickly what this element include. Okay, I had to run this here itself. So it may switch to the browser, but again, I'm going to resume the switch uh, and show the, uh, show, show the uh, this particular run uh, Selenium and you can see the, this has run executed now. And uh, because, okay, I, I, uh, if it is not coming here, so I had to print it then in that case. The DIR is because it's, it's a complete program. So I should have put the print, uh, then only I can see the output here. Uh, so let me show the DIR of element now so that we understand, okay, what is happening now. Okay, so I'm overriding this command again, overriding this script again and running it one more time. Uh, again, I had to come back and resume and see uh, what's happening is running. So if the star is gone, it means it has run successfully. I, this time I have removed the, uh, remove this, uh, the time because I want to show you something that is what this element object includes. This is our, our object now. So it includes many more things. You can see there are various uh, things which are available in the element now. When I'm saying the element is an object, which is, uh, which is an object of what? It is the object of the Yahoo browser. Uh, you know, it's like we are ex uh, accessing the, the search box uh, uh, by this element named P. Now, for this Yahoo browser, what all thing you can do is, you can have the search box. Now this, we find out the search box name by name P now, we identify that because if you want to search something in the Yahoo or in the Google or somewhere else, you need to say, okay, wh where to go now, where, what you want to do is like, you want to go ahead and type something, search something using the browser itself, using our, the command or API itself, how to do that. So this is what we're going to read. And before that, I'm, I'm just showing you like, what this element is all about. So here you can see the various API. It has an API like send keys, size, submit, text. These all these are the data attributes and they are built in. See what it includes, these are the built-in attributes. So whatever you see the, build, the double underscore, we don't require to look at it. Whenever you see the DIR, is a listing of all the attributes. So which attribute to observe, which attribute not to observe? See attribute which you have to observe is these attributes only. Uh, these are the attributes we have to observe like from here. So here, these attributes you should observe. What it includes now. It includes various things now. So uh, what I say here, the DIR of element, which is a uh, object of this complete browser dot element. So various methods or API which are built in. We are not writing this. These are already available. And what we can do is you can send the keys, you can submit the keys, you can get the help, you can get the tag name, you can get the text names and all those things. So, so all these are already there. You can get the ID also. So you, what are the API you can see? Find the element by name, find the element by link text, all these are already available as an object now. So what is our next step now? Next step is to send something to the the element which we identify, and that is uh, sending the, maybe the search thing like here, uh, I'm using one more API that is uh, sending the keys here. Let's say I'm sending this one. Uh, you can send anything. It's not necessary that you should be sending the, so here I'm going to send the, some Selenium HQ or you may send something else later on. But then here I am using one more API which is available in the keys. So uh, yeah, that I need to use it. Otherwise I'll get the error here. Again, the other API. So again, let me tell you, these are all predefined. You are not writing your own API here. In this case, it is just the predefined API. You just need to know uh, the API name, the purpose of it. And once you understand the purpose, you can use it then. So here we are going to understand, okay, selenium.webdriver.common.keys. So how do you send the, the, the keys or the data uh, to the various, the element here now? So here I'm going to send something. So here, how to send it? There's a method available here for that. And that is a, uh, that is a send keys now. And one more thing here, I'm, I'm using this key that, that also I'll show you here. I'm using it here because I would like to, you know, uh, send something 
to the search box to the to the element which we already selected now how do we select it we selected by the name p the element name search box and there we are saying okay selenium hq is just the any actually this is to uh, get the the help of selenium hq you may write something else you may something maybe the gkt cs or if you want to search something else that's your choice you search it whatever you want so uh, and then you are going to send the return here so keys dot return is go, is just like a enter key is going to enter also so if i say gkt cs innovations Okay, or just GKD says fine, no problem. It is going to search it by the the GKD says name now, and let us see how uh, what happened now. Just override it, and it is all testing one by one, and you can see how simple it is. Like you do not require to write a, a you know more lines of code here. Just write one line, test it. Write one line, test it, and then gradually you can add the lines here. <clears throat> so Python is something we say that it's an interpreted language. as it is an interpreted language that's the benefit here why i recommend python to everyone is something like it's very easy to learn for everyone and it's a interpreted and you know, interactive language why i'm saying it's interpreted and interactive and the high level language so obviously you can see like you know i'm able to interact with you because the browser is interacting with me your each and every uh uh even that this id which i'm using is interacting with me giving me immediate response if this error it is telling me okay this is a error so this way i can check okay if there is error where is a problem i can check line by line here so that's what the interpreter means line by line execution so let us do this now and run it let us uh, it's just like a fun you can see like the language is a fun here and this time i'm going to uh, uh, let me tell you like what's happening here i had to share the screen so i'm just going to share the the new screen here and uh, let us see uh, if it is uh, getting shared okay so resume share and uh, <clears throat> so the things like the browser i had to open i i did not this time what happened like the the time uh, i did not add it that's a, that's a challenge so i could have uh, <clears throat> added the time uh, but uh, okay fine what i will do here i will add the time to show it uh, otherwise the result will not be visible to you so this time again i'm modifying this code because to show the okay i can uh, skip the print now because this this was just for the demo so this is this is i comment commented now and uh, yeah time dot slip should be there and uh, then only i can okay this time uh, time dot slip i will add it uh, after uh, you know everything done not before okay after and then maybe for 2 second rather than uh, uh, for uh, more than 2 the 2 second is more than enough for us to see it so let us execute one more time because we we could not check it the result uh, we did not uh, we could uh, i could not show it because it takes certain time to open if the output is running perfectly let's say my output uh, has run perfectly there is a there is output here so it means it is executing right if it is not okay so it is going to take some time now in case it is not open let i, I have to check it over here that whether it is taking the opening the browser or not and you can try with other browser also afterwards so the browser i may require to close it because there are two to three active browser available uh, sometimes i also get confused okay which one is the browser okay so this is like there are two to three browsers and if it is running okay so it has uh, done but there is a one more thing here and that is uh, uh, that generally we should do it is like a uh, we are what run the that assertion also we can check it in case we want to check whether it has the result is found or not so a lot of thing can be done and uh, yes okay so this is to tell you like uh, how does it work because there is no error it means it has already executed okay so i hope you can see the screen so if there is a error it means it will not exist so it was just like a simple thing here like i am doing what i am just sending the key gkt cs yes, that's it nothing much here so this you can try you can send any anything here maybe you can try to send other command and uh, 
is fine. This is just to you can search anything here. I will do what I will put the time not slip uh, before also so that each and everything can be seen here. Because it takes some time. Uh, okay, I have Yahoo only, right? That's fine. Yahoo search only. It takes some time to open the browser through the net. It all depends on the internet speed also. Okay, so I'm again one more time running it. And going to check the browser and whether it's working or not. And if it is working, it's great. Yeah, but this time, yes, it has opened and I can, uh, but it has, after opening, it has closed also because uh, the thing is, it was for only two seconds. So I think what what I could have done is like I put a more little more delay. Uh, so this time what I'll do, I'll put more delay now because two seconds is uh, very less uh, for you to share uh, the screen and opening the browser and everything simultaneously, it is, it is taking some time. But then let me show you the result, how it comes for this particular program. I just modify the time this time so that, okay, there's a delay now. Now, now this time I will show the result also. There's, it has come uh, and I'm just sharing the screen now after the, it opens because uh, unless and until, uh, you know, because there's a share screen option, but the share screen option works only when after a few seconds. That's, that's a challenge for me. So, uh, yeah, but then again, I found like, you know, it has opened, it has uh, opened the windows and it has closed also because again, the time was the challenge for me. What I'm finding here, like the time I had to, uh, you know, share more here, not less than five seconds, not less than, uh, uh, you know, seven seconds. <clears throat> I will just add more time here because while sharing, it is taking more time. I need to make sure that the site open and then it goes to that particular, uh, uh, you know, the, the I, I should be able to then show it to the the browser and the time it, uh, you know, I try to show it. Okay, now I will be able to because I added more time. Okay, but then as soon as I share it, uh, the, the screen share stop. Yeah, you can see now. This result is visible and now it has gone. <laughs> Because I kept it only for a few seconds. Yeah, that's the result. That's the result. The result was only shown here. So this is the way it works. Okay, okay I hope like you understand like how particular, uh, you know, case can be said. Although uh, this time I, I have done it for 10 seconds, but let me tell you, all these things are happening so fast. Even the 10 seconds, you just count it and goes. So that's what happening here. So if you really want to see the result and if you are not able to see it, I am going to increase the time delay now for 20 seconds so that you can see the result here. Uh, here I'm reducing, but then specifically for the, uh, for the, to show the result there, here I, I may have two seconds, that's fine. But the last result before I close it, or I can, I can stop closing. That's also option I will be performing. In case, okay, that's the, that's the last option. Like in case I don't want to close it, uh, that will uh, that will work then. That will that will allow me to show you the result, how it comes when we are sharing the screen now. So let me now this time share the screen, whichever is coming now. This is what happening here, and you can see the 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 scenario now, how the particular uh, uh, keyword it has uh, uh, entered, and then now this time this time I did not close. So, uh, so I can see like, okay, the particular query, particular keywords, uh, it has been searched and now you can see the result also. So why I'm showing this Selenium HQ here? To tell you like there is a Selenium documents available and you can visit the site Selenium HQ and there you get the various documents about the Selenium. That's why I purposefully wanted to show the demo and show you like, okay, there is a something related to Selenium which is available on the site. And this is where you get all the things related to Selenium now. I hope uh, this is helping you to understand like how the particular, uh, uh, you know, the Selenium API works here.